Hi, Teen A Wake, out and about for the literature episode of The Litmus Test. It's our final episode, so I hope you enjoy our upcoming interviews with wonderful local authors. Well, first of all, self-publishing, is it a good thing for authors and the industry? It's absolutely a good thing for authors. Um, the publishing industry itself, I don't know if it's a good thing for the traditional model of that. I think that as self-publishing becomes more and more widespread and because it is such a good thing for authors, even people who've been traditionally published for ages are jumping onto self-publishing now. Well, for me, I've been doing graphic design typesetting for, for so many years that I guess the last thing I wanted to do was self-publish my own book and have to do that all over again. Um, so for me it was a much better route to go looking for publishers. Traditional publishing is either going to have to change to survive or really what's going to happen is authors will become the publishing industry. Um, I think there's some styles of writing, some stories out there that the publishers just won't touch. Right. And there's nothing you can do about that. And it doesn't mean that your stuff isn't well written or, or that people out there will read it. Um, it just means that those publishers have made decisions of what they will and won't publish. So for those people, self-publishing can really work for them. For other people, um, I think you, it's easier to have that background of a, of a big publisher or a publisher, be it small, medium or large, there in the background helping you with the marketing, helping you with the editing and, and that sort of thing. In relation to um, e-books and things like that, I think that there'll always be printed books around. Um, I think it's, it's Stephen Fry that said that uh, print books are no more threatened by e-books than stairs are threatened by escalators. I don't think the printed word is going away anywhere soon. Um, I think uh, we're going back to probably what we were before the big franchise book chains took over, um, where there were only small bookshops. That's the only place you could go to. And we got used to this time when there was bookshops everywhere and books everywhere and everywhere you go, you could buy a book. Um, E-books have changed all that. Yeah, but I think bookstores need to be about connecting to books in a way. I mean, that's what you go to a bookstore for, is for being around books and connecting to them in, in a different way than you can just on an online store. How does um, the author-publisher deal with piracy and digital distribution? Um, that's probably the toughest question. Um, everyone's got their own different ways. Um, I think fighting it um, is probably the worst way to go. Um, when you try and put restrictions on things, digital rights management to prevent people copying, um, it only challenges people to, to break the, the, the code and, and get it anyway. Um, so in the end that doesn't work. We, we pretend it doesn't happen, you, don't, you just don't want to look, you don't want to know. Um, I've, I've had authors, friends of mine, who they're, they're not big name authors, you know, and they'll put out a new book and they'll see that it's been pirated the day after. Um, it's already, you know, being shared around and stuff. So it's sort of a don't look, or it's a bit too depressing. Um, but at the same time, there are some big name authors like Hugh Howey, uh, who is sort of one of the big self-publishing superstars. Uh, where on his website, he's got a little donation box for people who have pirated his stories. If they enjoyed them and they go to his website to try and find out more about him, they can donate. And he apparently gets a lot of people doing that. Um, I've known a lot, seen a lot of studies that show for a lot of authors it actually helps readership. Um, if you do get your stuff pirated, sure, you can spend a lot of time sending out takedown notices and fighting against it. Um, or you can hope that those people are going to be a couple of extra readers, that your next book they will buy right. um, because they've enjoyed what you've read, that they'll tell their friends and their friend won't want to pirate and will buy it. So yeah, I don't think you lose readers. I don't think those people who pirate would have bought the book in the first place. What would you recommend for people who are trying to get into the industry? That there are so many opportunities these days for authors. Um, Self-publishing really has opened up the whole marketplace. Um, and just absolutely go for it. And you have to remember that it's not, you know, easy money. I think there are a lot of people trying to jump into the industry thinking that it is easy money. It's still work, you have to be professional, you are your own entire publishing industry if you want to go that way. You've got to create your own network of cover designers, editors, proofreaders, the whole thing all the way through. Um, but if you can do it professionally, I think there are absolutely fantastic opportunities these days.